Okay, hi everyone. Let me fix my hair. Okay, let me rephrase what I said on my last uh, YouTube channel. I just paid off, um, I give permission for the debt collector to withdraw 900 all one time out of one account. I mean, I pay off everything already. Um, cause the deal is if I can pay, she say, if, I forgot her name, but I lost that paper that says her name and information. I don't know what happened to it, where it is, but if, uh, if she says if I can pay 400 a month and they'll, uh, lower it down to 900. So instead of 400 and 400, and 100 I'll just do all one time 900 and like I said I have 961 dollars so instead of me breaking it down to three times or something I just pay it all off at one time I have enough for 900 or whatever 930 or whatever that she says that I still owe so she withdraw whatever um, that I owe I think 900 or 930 that's all for that credit card uh, debt that I owe. Then my second credit card that I owe is, I saw the paper again is 6300 or 6500 somewhere around there. I gotta find that paper again. But that you have to give me at least from now to one year because money is not easy to come by and it's not hard for me. it's not easy for me to um, come up with so it just depends on my luck sometimes I have money coming in sometimes I don't sometimes I find a temp service temp job sometimes there's no job calling so I don't do day labor anymore so they moved everybody moved away so it just depends and um, or else you have to wait until I sell my bus and then I can either get that money in, but it's going to take out some time because not, it's not easy selling a bus and not everybody wants to have a bus or whatever, but some people do. Um, I changed my mind. My bus is going for 26000 not 6000 It was a typo, um, on my, uh... Facebook and YouTube, so it's a twenty six thousand, not six thousand. It was a mistake. So whoever wants to buy it for twenty six thousand, it can. Um, when I bought the bus, they run. What is it? They drove it from Saint Petersburg to Tampa on Fowler, so it still run good. And I just started it last week, and it's still the is it still good. I bought it, but I never drove it <laughs> because I don't want to get in trouble by driving without an insurance, um, license plate, tag, stickers, the whole shebang. So whoever wants to take it off my hand for 26000 there's no seats in it, but it's still in good condition. All it needs is to be painted over on the outside and tags, license plate, and whatever. I was planning to move and drive off. All of what I collected and do go straight to Arkansas but I have a change of plan because my plans change every 10 seconds I gotta go to Houston stay there and go to school for one year and then transfer all my paperwork from Tampa to Tampa St. Pete and um, Clearwater whatever to Houston Texas then transfer to Arkansas and live in Arkansas for two years and then move over to Alaska for two years so I rather I'll just buy another bus when I go up to Arkansas or Alaska so I will um, fly instead of driving so I'm gonna donate a lot of my clothes and travel light so I'm you know I would just start collecting when I go up to Arkansas, start all brand new all over because they have a Walmart up there and I didn't know about it. So I thought, you know, recycling down here and, you know, whatever, but I can recycle up there and I can start out all new out there in Arkansas 
and then I'll move up to Alaska later, two years after. So I want to see how uh, Arkansas is and Alaska is. I need to be away from everybody that's uh, traumatizing me and stressing me out and bullying me and threatening me, harassing me, negative about me, dishonest about me, and lying about me. So I need to get away from crazy people. I don't want to be around crazy people. I don't like to be around bullies, dishonest people, liars, and negative and prejudiced people. I don't want to be around hillbillies. I don't associate and affiliate sexually with hillbillies, coon ass, and bushmen. So I'd rather be left alone, isolated. I love being isolated. I don't want nobody to bother me. If you're not my sugar daddy, you don't pay my income, you don't keep track of my working income, or you don't take good care of me financially, mm -mm -mm. don't touch me inappropriately, sexually. I'm not desperate for you. I'm not sexually interested in you. You cannot go saying that you might date a boyfriend, a fiance, a groom, or baby's daddies. If you're not hot, supermodel, gorgeous, and intelligent. I hate stupid, ignorant nonsense, butt crack, ugly, ugly, no class, insignificant others. All of you hillbillies, go away and go fuck off and leave me the fuck alone sexually. Do not bug me, do not bother me, do not follow me around, do not stalk me sexually and inappropriately. Oh, I forgot one more. The last uh, credit card I owe was Dress Barn. I still owe them $530 or something, so I need to get that paid off too. And I'm debt free, free of debt. No more owing nobody nothing and I can start out brand new. I don't want no credit cards. I only want debit card.